Charlotte Hawkins. All right, good morning to you. It's Friday morning at six o'clock. We're with you all the way through until nine with Kate and Sean here from half past six. First, our top story. And our main news this morning is that in the largest study to date, UK experts say they're confident that vaccines are key to controlling the coronavirus pandemic, slashing infection rates and cutting transmission, in some cases with just one dose. It comes as the UK seeks to further protect the progress we've made by restricting travel from India since 4am this morning as it grapples with a devastating second wave. The UK is no longer in a pandemic, according to some experts. Well, Dr Amir joins me now with more on that specifically. Good morning. Thanks very much. This risk of blood clots, because Richard was saying there's new evidence on this. And of course, it is going to worry people, isn't it? If it's shown that it's slightly more of a risk than... Which uh, are these rare brain blood clots, but the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine reduces... Now, details of a major review into English football have been revealed following an outcry from fans over the proposed European Super League. It'll look at club finances, owners and how fans could be given a greater say in how their teams are run. Nick did cry from fans, didn't we, about the European Super League. And this review is going to build on that momentum, it seems. My son should be burying me. Those are the words of Katie Wright, the mother of Dante Wright, who was shot by police earlier this month. The funeral marked another emotional day for the city of Minneapolis, scarred by several high-profile killings involving police, including the murder of George Floyd. Our North American correspondent, Noel Phillips, sent us this report. Calls to a male domestic abuse helpline have risen by 25% since the start of the pandemic. According to figures obtained exclusively by Good Morning Britain, there's also been a significant spike in the number of men seeking help from the Mankind Initiative website. Alice Porter has been speaking to one victim who tells his distressing experience of abuse. We've changed his name to protect his identity. Tributes have been paid to the former Bay City Rollers frontman Les McEwen, who passed away suddenly at home age 65. The Scots remembering Les McEwen. More coming up on that with Ross King in just a moment. Well, let's take a look at the weather now. It's 6.30. Make the most of it while it lasts. Alex, thanks very much. Good morning, Britain's here all the way through till 9. Kate and Sean will be here from half past six. Uh, but to come, but first, let's get the news, travel and weather where you are. See you in just a moment. Okay, now after a stressful week for football lovers, a government-led review of English football will now examine the way fans are treated by clubs, as well as look at wider issues of ownership. When it comes Richard, thanks very much for that. Yes, coming up next, Sean and Kate will be here in just a moment. And as we head towards the sun...